Okay, next up, we're going to be looking at how to create a function that's going to calculate the biggest possible difference. Now, you could do the smallest difference as well, but we're going to do the biggest difference between any numbers inside of an array. So it's going to take an array like this, and we're going to go through the array looking for the biggest number, the smallest number, to find out what's the biggest difference between any of these numbers. All right, so... Here's the starter code. If you're looking for a copy of this, there's a link to it in the description down below, so you can download that or copy and paste it and see if you can figure that out. And I'll be back in just a second to talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So, solution. Well, we have this array. This is what we're going to be passing in here when we call this function. Um, or, I've got it set up as an iffy here. Uh, if you just want to call it as a function, you could just call the name of the function and pass the numbers into that. But uh, I'm running it immediately, passing this array in, and then difference will be the return value from the function. So that's what I'm going to have here. Okay, now, the array. First thing I want to do is um, I want to get rid of any duplicates. So we could end up with a situation where in the array you have, let's say, the number 5. And in a whole bunch of different places in the array, you've got the numbers 5 or 6 or 10. And these are showing up multiple times in the array. So potentially, you have an array that's a thousand numbers, but there's really only four different numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do to try and speed this up is I want to remove all the duplicates. And the quickest and easiest way to do that is to pass these numbers to a set. So create a new set and pass the array in as the values for the constructor. So we'll start with that. Let's say um, there's our answer. It's going to be a new set, and we're going to pass in all of the numbers like that. This will remove all the duplicates from that. So that's step one. We're going to remove the duplicates with a set. Then we want to pass the set back to an array. So to do that, we're going to use the array from method, not from, but from. There we go. Now we have an array. We've got a brand new array with all of the duplicates removed. And we could uh, just to test this out, console log answer dot length. So you can see here we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 numbers inside of here. But if we run this one, 7. So we've removed the 5 duplicates from that. That's going to make our next step a lot faster. And that's our next step. I'm going to sort them. And that way I'm going to have the biggest number at the beginning, the smallest number at the end. So with those, then I just have to look at the first and the last element, find out what the difference is between them. So we have the biggest and the smallest number. That's where we're going to calculate the difference. So this is an array. If you have an array, you can have an array literal or something that returns an array. You can just chain on the sort method at the end of that, and that will change the method. Now, Unfortunately, the default for a sort method for an array does a string sort. That means A, B, C, D, E, F. It figures out that number. And with that, we would have 10 would come right after the number 1. And then 2 would come after that because it's only looking at one character at a time when it does a string sort. So we need to put our own custom sort function inside of here. And A, B... And then we return B minus A. There we go. This is the quick and dirty way to write out an arrow function that does a numerical sort. That's our next step. And then the final step, calculate difference between the first and last. Right, and we've got the length we know was 7. The value we want to return is going to be the very first element in that array. So 0 is always going to be the first, and then the last one 
is going to be answer dot length minus one because the length of the array is always going to be one more than the index number of the last element in the array. So if my array has four things, the length is four, but the indexes are zero, one, two, three. Three is one less than four, one less than the length. So here we have the last one minus the first one, and that's going to be our difference. So for our array, if we look at this, smallest number is two, biggest is 33. The difference should be 31. That's what we should be getting back. So let's try this again. There we are, 31. That's what we get. And that's the answer that we need. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. Link to the full playlist is in the description as well. And as always, thanks for watching.